Do you long for a simpler time when chairlifts were red? A time when warming huts were historic? A time when icicles looked like something out of the Grinch who stole Christmas? Do you want steaming hot sauerkraut hot dogs and apple cider in front of a roaring oh. fire? <laughs> Then look no further than this video where we enjoy steaming hot sauerkraut, go night skiing, and almost freeze to death in a Pacific Northwest blizzard. All in this exciting episode. Welcome to another winter adventure. Ski Bowl is about an hour and a half from Portland in the Mount Hood National Forest. And it was a very snowy blizzard traffic was going slow and we rented a cabin at the cabins in Welch's had a nice little hot tub above a creek a little mountain stream nestled in the woods uh, in Welch's about halfway between uh, Portland in the ski area. He's gonna make a phone call. And the payphone did not work, and unfortunately, neither did the free gas pumps. But they made great decoration. He scraped Hi. off the car. So. And within walking distance from the cabins was a little bakery called Aunt Bee's Bakery. They had all kinds of delicious pastries, Bavarian cream, marionberry lemon bites. I'm got a Swiss cheese and green onion biscuit. What did you get? Spinach and ricotta. Oh, spinach and ricotta. The green onion is so good. And then um, a lemon bite. Mm. Okay, now we're going skiing. As you can see, driving up to Mount Hood was extremely treacherous. First huge snowstorm of the year and uh, just in time because the ski area barely had enough snow to open just a few weeks before this. But kind of all dumped at once. Look at the size of these flakes. So snowy. It's a ski bowl. We found it was just a charming little resort. Scaria that reminds me of uh, skiing back before I was born. In the 50s and 60s with a bar at the base and a cafeteria. We can get burritos and chicken fingers and burgers and even yakisoba noodles. I can't even see these icicles were out of control. More snow than roof. <laughs> hmm. Audrey had a hair on her tongue. Here, as we switch to vertical iPhone cam. Found this creek running through a the woods right under where we walk across the lift. There's actually almost more snow than than lift shack here at the top. 
<laughs> and this was my favorite thing, red chairlifts. These are some of the oldest chairlifts still in operating in the country. Single pole in the middle, two seaters. Bonjour. Skiing at Ski Bowl. Look at that volcano in the background. Oh yeah. A S O. Too much volcano. Turns out Ski Bowl was originally two different ski areas. There was Ski Bowl, and then what is now Ski Bowl East, I believe, was called Multopore which was some sort of Frankenstein-like amalgam of Multnomah County, Oregon, and Portland. Multor, poor, multipore. Not really sure why that didn't catch on, but anyway, now they merged and it's just known as Ski Bowl. And, uh, at this point, we were freezing to death, so we thought we'd go to the historic warming hut. It was only in the mid-20s, I think. You can see it's a little windy. Anyway, this hut, this warming hut, was originally built in 1937 it opened. You can see the... Starting to turn on the lights in the uh, terrain there in the background. More lit terrain for night skiing than anywhere else in the United States, they claim. So these are auto dogs to order. Onion, sauerkraut, mustard, pickles, and some hot apple cider. In a real log fire. That's your auto dog. extra calories to stay warm. Whoa. <laughs> and I had some starting to get kind of wet and I had some uh, glare on the lens. There it is. Clear. The little warming hut that could. Okay, let's go. One of the coolest quaintest little warming huts I've ever seen. So the top of Ski Bowl is at 5,066 feet and 1,500 feet of vertical drop. And just a really nice mix of kind of beginner to intermediate terrain and then some really steep expert terrain at the top if you're looking for more of a challenge. Anyway, we had great snow. It was terrific. We skied till dark. Almost froze to death. And then headed back to the cabin that we rented in Welch's. Where Audrey made her grandmother's secret family recipe. Of 
fondue. Nobody can claim we don't know how to party. So that was our ski bowl adventure. Super fun, highly recommend checking it out and uh, staying in Welch's if you don't want to do the whole drive in one day where you're gonna ski multiple days. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to gently depress the like button and subscribe so that you'll know when we make more videos. That means you, Mom. Sign in your Google account and subscribe.